Hey, welcome to the John Gill Podcast Show. And on this episode, I'm super excited to have on a very special guest with us. And she is Isabel uh, Molina. She is the owner of the uh, boutique here in Chicago, uh, Bohemian Hats and Accessories called Malosa Boutique. So, um, Isabel, how are you doing, first of all? Hello, Jonathan. (laughs) Thanks for the invite. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. I'm super excited to have you on. Uh, tell so us a little much. bit about yourself, about your store. I mean, you're doing some exciting things here. So just uh, let us know. Well, I just moved to Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just moved to Chicago in March. Uh-huh. And, you know, all this COVID happened, all this pandemic, world pandemic. And I was so bored. <laughs> I can imagine. So I so I started looking for a place to open my, my boutique because I started the brand in 2008. Mm-hmm. And then I was opening shops in Mexico City. I was opening, you know, different different uh, boutiques. Yes. And then I moved to Tulum. I started my the brand in Tulum. Mm-hmm. I switched a little bit the brand. I started with shoes. It, it, this is very fun. I mean, I started with shoes, designing shoes. Mm-hmm. Then I moved to hats. When okay. I moved to Tulum, I didn't want to design heels anymore because, because you know, in the beach, you don't want to wear right. heels. It is ridiculous. You need to wear sandals yeah. or barefoot. Yeah. So I decided to, I made one hat, everybody loved my hat, and then my boyfriend told me, babe, why don't you open a shop? I mean, yes. everybody likes your hats. I'm like, okay. So I started working with the Mayan ladies in okay. Yucatan. The Mayan ladies from Quintana Roo and Yucatan from all the Yucatan Peninsula. I decided to switch the brand to make a brand more conscious, mm. not just about fashion, more about how to help people, how to bring back the traditions of the Mayan, the Mayan people, so they they can still do the embroidery, you know, the oh, ancient amazing. technique of embroidery with yeah. silk and, and cotton mm-hmm. and beautiful colors, that they are the best doing this. So I started working with them, mm-hmm. and after a year, uh, we perfectioned the technique mm-hmm. and. I opened a boutique and it went really good. Mm. And then I had to move to Chicago. Oh. So so it was <laughs> like, okay, so I'm gonna open my boutique in Chicago and yeah. I found this amazing spot. And it's so big that I decided to do an art gallery on one side, it's mm-hmm. one entrance, the Malosa Gallery. That is that will also be a cultural venue. So that all, sounds amazing. Yeah, like I was telling you, yeah. I, I want to do dancing and I want to do art. I want to do yoga. I want to have like so people can rent it as a place to do pop ups. That would be great. It's yes. Not, it, so it's not just my selection of uh, of my creation of artists. It's also a place where any people that mm-hmm. is creative, any 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 designers, architects, fashion designers, um, any any person that is creative can have this place and just express I what they it. do. And so one side is gonna be the boutique with the hat, with accessories. I'm not gonna do, it's not gonna be just me as a designer mm-hmm. with my collection. I also wanna invite different designers from Latin America, Mexico, Colombia, Brazil, Argentina, uh, Peru. Mm. So so the brand at the end, it's Mexican Bohemian, but this Bohemian trend that we all like, we of all course. love, because it's super chic, but it's- They're beautiful, I'm telling you, we're sitting but here, yeah. Do you see, like for example, this is a, this one right here. Yeah, let's pull it up uh, yeah. so you can see it on the camera. This one right here. This has this very, this pattern that is super boho, very ethnic mm-hmm. uh, look. But also, I mean, it goes with everything. You can wear it with jeans, you can wear it uh, with a beautiful white dress, mm-hmm. you can wear it with a silk skirt and a, and a lace top, you can wear it with shorts and a very beautiful kaftan or a, or a kimono. I mean, the, the, the idea with the brand was to bring back the, the bohemian that we have in Mexico. And my goal is now I'm just working with the communities in Yucatan Mm -hmm. and in Quintana Roo, that is just a Yucatan Peninsula. Mm -hmm. But my goal is to work with all the country and also invite different countries, like you're Colombian, so you're gonna gonna hook me up with all the Colombian designers. Yeah, it's gonna happen. (laughs) So I wanna invite the designers from all over Latin America Mm -hmm. so they can have 
you know, they can be in my boutique. But also the designers from Chicago, from Miami, from New York, from Houston, from San LA. Francisco, California, I don't care. Yeah. If they have a good product, they can sell in my shop or they can use the shop as a pop-up. You I know, now it. all the, the problem is that now all retailers, they close their shops. Yeah. The shops are closed. We don't have boutiques anymore. And especially Chicago, you see everywhere, it's everything is closed. Yeah. All the places, all the little boutiques are yeah. gone. Now we're taking over the big, the big chains. Yeah, we talked about that. That's the problem. I mean, you don't really see that many boutiques no. here in Chicago. It's, uh, and what you're providing is definitely um, uh, something that we need, you know, and a cultural center too. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't see any of that over here. I mean, um, who doesn't love the embroidery? Who doesn't love the beautiful fabrics that the colors are made with seeds, are made with roots from trees? Uh, all these techniques, they're going to be extinguished if you don't use them. Mm -hmm. If you don't pay them well, we need to do fair trade. Yeah. We need to pay these people properly. They don't even know how to charge you. You need to tell them, no, that's too, that's too low. You have to put it up. Yeah. How much is this? How much? You need to teach them. So, I mean, a lot of the, the, the people that I see in my, mm -hmm. in my, in my business, I go to this little town, Mayan towns, mm -hmm. and they don't even speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. I know a little bit of Mayan. Mm -hmm. So I, with signs, That's That's and with the little Mayan that I uh -huh. know, that are just funny words uh -huh. and, s and swearing words. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, those are the ones that you need to have, right? <laughs> but I, you know, it's signs, it's like, yes, the color. Uh -huh. You know, you, you start with a little That's knowledge awesome. I have of Mayan. I start talking and make business with these people and make deals. And I mm -hmm. invite them to my studio in Tulum. Mm -hmm. So they have a place. Um, this is a little studio that I have. And they go there and they they can sleep there, they can eat there, and they, they can stay for one day or a week. So they have a place where they go to Tulum, they 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 make one heart, so they can make fifty hats in three days. So wow. they get paid by the hats they make, the sure. by peace. Okay. So it's just, you know, trying to to make a better world and then not just think about fashion and making money and right. and just be a big brand and you know it's a bigger like, mission it's yeah, it's, it's yeah. also make make fashion conscious make fashion uh, affordable bring mm -hmm. the beauty of of culture mm -hmm. to fashion but yeah. with good quality that's the i think that's the hardest thing to do yeah no uh, you're, you're hitting the nail right in the head i mean definitely being conscious of you know, these bigger brands, they it's you've got the sweatshops and you have all sorts of other uh, areas where they're working that, you know, that they really don't um, take into account the lives of the people who are actually behind behind it. And what you're doing with with what with these beautiful, uh, ha you know, um, with, the, with all of your beautiful work is, you know, one, you're you're highlighting their culture. Of course, you know, and then secondly, you're actually saying, hey, you know, these are the people who are behind it. And I'm and I care about, you know, the people who are actually making my product. Exactly. And that's a beautiful statement. So um, so tell us, because uh, you know, we we did our homework and we saw, you know, your hats are all over the place. We saw some in Ibiza. We've seen some, you know, uh, all yeah, they, over the place. Yeah, they look amazing. They, they, they I mean, yeah, they it's worldwide shipping. Okay. So anybody can just go online. It's malosatulum.com. Okay. Perfect. So, so I, let's say that again. Malosa. Malosa, Malosa Tulum, T U L U M dot okay. com. Perfect. Like the beach, you know, the beach, yes. this beautiful beach in Mexico, Tulum. So it, I relaunched the brand mm -hmm. in Tulum. So I, I'm like, I need to use the name also because mm -hmm. it's where I decided to do hats and decided to do accessories and jewelry. Like the, the brand is not just about hats, it's about. Mm -hmm. We do a beautiful behuco and rattan purses. We do jewelry and we work with the artisans in mm -hmm. Tasco in, in, um, that is a beautiful place where the, all the silver from Mexico comes from there, like okay. most of the silver. Nice. So they have beautiful artisans there and all these handmade pieces. Mm -hmm. Like, like for example, this ring that I have here is That's a, amazing. It's a quartz. Can we, can we show, can we get a perfect? Yeah. For example, this. Higher? No. <laughs> okay. So, for example, these squares, I have two different ones. Every piece is a, every, every, let me turn this down so you can see the, the big one. All these, these pieces, they're unique. 
the shape we can we can do a same the same ring so all of the pieces are unique pieces like the hat some people is like oh for example this i got it in the the mountains of 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 cusco in wow. Peru, so I I made this lady. This lady made this this beautiful embroidery, wool embroidery. So she ships from Peru to mm-hmm. Mexico. This embroidery, this wow, green. that's amazing. So and this feather beautiful. is from the jungle of Tulum, and this straw is from Michoacan. It's, it's called Sawayo. Mm-hmm. It's from Michoacan, Morelia, Michoacan, from Mexico. So this is Tulum, Michoacan, and this is from Peru. So it's a mix. It's a story. It's an entire story coming together uh, that you're wearing. (laughs) Exactly. So all hats are magical. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) No, it's beautiful. All hats are magical. Yes, yeah. They have a story, like you say. They have a story, yeah. Like like there's a hashtag that, that I always, we use, it's called Hats with Soul. That is the perfect description of everything that you're telling me because, yeah. Go. yeah so every hat has a story. This, you, you're mixing the feathers, the natural feathers of the turkey mm-hmm. in Tulum. The turkeys that live in the jungle. Mm-hmm. They're beautiful turkeys with these amazing feathers. And then this, this lady that, remember, she had three babies in her mm-hmm. back. Oh, my gosh. Three babies, not yeah. one, three. <laughs> You know, like yeah, a kangaroo yeah. with three. Beautiful. So she was making this and I'm like, I need I need you to make this to my hat. This is amazing. So so she sends me this every 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 month from Peru. The feathers I collect with these families in, in Tulum and the hats we bring the the, the straw mm-hmm. and the, this is coconut palm tree. Yeah. They do they do the the pieces, the big pieces of, of fabric in mm-hmm. Michoacan and they, they send it to Tulum to our factory. Well, it's not a factory; it's a little like the place mm-hmm. where we do it. Mm-hmm. So every we do limited collections. Okay. So a lot of people are, oh, I want to have this. I'm like, no, it's gone. It, we just do a few pieces of every single hat. The wool ones are more likely to be, you know, we have more pieces, but the straw ones mm-hmm. sometimes we run out of the band, yeah, right? And we can do it again. So so that's another thing. The hats are unique, mm-hmm. and the the materials we use sometimes we run out the materials yeah so, wow. so yeah. if you like it just like you like it fits you take it get yeah. it otherwise yeah. you're not going to see it for a while yeah. and it's yeah, unique yeah. so it's not going to be the same one exactly. either exactly so wow that's such a great such a great uh, and here in chicago people were saying isa but what about your hats are for the beach i'm like chicago is so cool i'm like what are you talking about i, I have the wool collection so i, I the wool mm-hmm. is perfect for winter time when you're super cold if you don't cover your head you're freezing. You're yeah. done. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you cannot even think. Right. You cannot even think. No, it's true. Know? Yeah, it, absolutely. Well, and you know, look, we've got a nice summer too. So, you know, exactly. why not have but be out in style me, in the summer? I need you. You are going to answer yeah. this question to me. <laughs> why? Why the heck? Uh huh. Nobody in Chicago wears a hat in the summertime. You know what? That's actually a very good question. Have Locke, you been, maybe you, know, you can bo- answer that. What do you please, think, Locke? It's a cultural thing. I don't know. Cultural they thing, never, right? They never got introduced. They don't have a nice shop to buy hats. Exactly. And exactly. also, they, they, we suffer here so much of the winter that when the sun comes up, We're unprepared. you want to be out and just like a right. lizard. Right. You know, get <laughs> right. red like a shrimp yeah, yeah. and without sunblock yeah. and no hat. But I mean, you shouldn't, you can burn a little bit of your body, right. but not your face. Right, right. It's going right. to ruin you forever. Well, that's true. So, my idea is we're going to make the most amazing hat. We already have the most amazing hat because you go to the show, you're going to go crazy. The opening. It's oh, and let's talk about the opening. Yes, uh, yes, that's a yes. great uh, intro to the opening uh-huh. of the show. I mean, the shop is. is is almost ready. Okay. I'm going to do between today and tomorrow the last details. Mm-hmm. But um, I think Saturday I'm okay. going to open a little bit. It's going to be a soft opening, but the the, uh, the grand open is going to be... Um, and let's talk about the address before uh, oh, yeah. the, the location. And we're going to put it on here. 3461 North Lincoln Avenue. Perfect. 3461 North Lincoln here in Chicago. Avenue. And it's... Just the store is the storefront of the whole building. Mm-hmm. One entrance on Lincoln is, is our gallery and the cultural venue, and the other entrance by the corner is 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 a boutique. Okay. And I'm gonna have a, a little a beautiful like little studio in the back, like mm-hmm. kind of office studio, where I'm gonna invite you know ladies 
That's awesome. from different countries. You know, they are home. They are at home with nothing to do, bored, but they know how to sew. Oh, so I'm gonna that's buy such them. a great idea. And we're going to do the custom hats. Uh-huh. And I need help to do the cost. I can't, I can't do it by myself. I can't see like, you know, <laughs> like here I go. So in the hat. No, I, mean, I can't do that. Right. So I just sign the hats and then I'm going to give this hat to them, to these ladies. And these ladies are going to, I mean, they will have a job and they could go one day or five days at a week or six mm-hmm. days at a week to, to work and to make these beautiful custom hats for the clients. And, um, and the, the art gallery, we're going to have our own agenda of artists. Mm-hmm. Plus, we're going to have activities every day. It's going to be, like I was telling you before, yeah. it was going to be um, yoga in the mornings. It's going to be yoga by donation. So you just go, you take your class, and you donate what you feel like it. It's awesome. And then we're going to have salsa also. There chata it is. one day, salsa another day. And we're going to do a lot of uh, meditation. Mm. It's going to be in the mornings and the evening. We're going to have one hour of meditation that I think is very important. Jonathan, it's really. a lifestyle. You're what you're doing. Yeah. I mean, it's a lifestyle, l- literally. I mean, we're it's, bringing the yeah. magic of Tulum exactly. to Chicago. This is what this is my mission in this city. We are bringing all these ancient, beautiful techniques mm-hmm. to meditate, to heal, mm-hmm. to provide magic to your life, to provide peace, so you can breathe, you can have a break. Just Here in the United yeah. States, the the biggest problem. Is to, I, I found two things. People don't connect yeah. because they are too busy working. And people don't breathe and they don't have a, a moment to actually have a reflection on their lives and actually meditate mm-hmm. to think what I'm doing. Am I happy? Mm-hmm. Am I doing what I love? Right. Did I spoke? Did I spend? Do, I mean, do, did I call the people that I really love? Yeah. Do I spend enough time with my family or with my friends? Or I'm just working like a crazy it from happens. home or at the office? I don't. I don't care. The people just works too much and they forget about what things that matter. Yeah, it's a great point. So, so this place is gonna be a place where you can take a break. Imagine one hour a day in the morning or in the afternoon. You're gonna have. A beautiful, a beautiful moment to meditate, to connect. It's an experience. You're we're, gonna have an experience. You're we're gonna, gonna have, we're gonna do sound healing. Yeah. We're gonna do sound healing, and it's gonna be just magical, beautiful. That's awesome. And that's what I want to do. That's amazing. That's amazing. And you know, we've seen some of your. Uh, it's it literally it's an experience, right? You said your hats are an experience. You know, from all the the material and the fabric that that co- that goes in to the to the hat um and then on top of that i think that once you put it on you you can feel that energy <laughs> really you know uh we saw some even at the burning man i saw some pictures yeah, you're at the burning man yeah. you got to talk we to us a little bit Bur- about that don't tell me that's <laughs> that's my favorite planet on 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 the on this on earth i love how you said <laughs> that it's a it's a planet it's literally not of this world right I mean, you can tell me, well, you're not going to go to your friend's wedding. Well, no, that was yeah. too harsh. <laughs> okay, you're not going to go to this party. You're, gonna, you're not going to go to Greece for the summer. But this year that Burning Man got canceled, I was devastated. Wow. Devastated. We, I mean, my friend, my friend John LaGrace, uh-huh. he's got an amazing camp. And we, we just go with him every year. And it's just the most amazing experience ever. And now with the hats, I mean, I started. To it bring goes in, with the whole experience yeah, too, doesn't now it? I yeah. have a special design that I was going to launch this year, but I, mm-hmm. I, I, I switched it to do it next year because Burning Man wasn't going to be, wasn't going to happen this year. Yeah. But this specific design is going to be crazy. Crazy. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. It's That's exciting. Be, you can come with us yeah. this year. <laughs> we have, well, yeah, Locke and I have never been a Burning Man, huh? It's on, it's have you been? It's on our bucket it's list. Bucket no, list. no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Locke, it's amazing. It's the best experience you are, are ever going to feel I, in your life. Really? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. you, as a, you as a photographer. Yeah, I, the artwork. Yeah. I mean, yeah. sometimes I say it's better not to, you know... I mean, even though if you take video or pictures, because sometimes it's better not to do it because do it's it, just, it's too, just experience. Right. But even though it doesn't matter if you do it because it, you can't compare. 
How many days is it? It's it's is a it a week? It's a Imagine week? a party at, for one week. For one week that never stops. I mean, the day. No, you have no idea. That my husband like my kind of had party, to drag actually. me. <laughs> he had to drag me from the last party on Sunday. Yeah, I, I was escaping from him every time. He's like, "Come on, baby, we have to pack." And I was running, I was running through the back door of the TP, and I'm like, "No, no, no!" Oh, I was gosh. running to the party again, and yeah. he's like, "Baby, we have to go." Yeah, and I was hiding with an umbrella with a yellow. <laughs> every time he was like looking for me at the party, I was, you know, with an umbrella, and he didn't find me for three times. The fourth time, like it was like five p.m. Well, of course, we missed the flight, and he's like, "Oh my God, Isa, I told you we ha- we're gonna miss the flight." Of course, we missed the flight. Of course, of course. And yeah, like, and I was so angry with him. Uh, and I'm like, how dare you? It's, I mean, I don't care. I want to be at the last minute of the yeah. last till the end. I, I don't want to fly on Sunday. I want to fly on Monday. Monday. Of course, of course. Well, that's, uh, you know, and I feel like, I feel like that, it almost seems as though that experience kind of lives in you. And you're also through, through your shop, you're trying to also create more experiences and more, uh, um, you know. How do you drink this off? Oh yeah, so that <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, no problem. But no, I, that that's great. I mean, and I love that energy. I love that that um, that spirit, you know. And I think that transcends through your shop, through you, and then and and through what you're gonna be, what you're creating at your boutique shop. And for example, my friend Carlitos is she's, she's an amazing artist. We met mm-hmm. in, in Burning Man, in Tulum, and then Burning Man. He's gonna he's gonna be presenting um, mm-hmm. his art. Um, I have a beautiful artist that I met in Burning Man. They're, of course, they're going to perform. They're going to do paint or sculpture, dancing. Um, you know, I, I want, I think Chicago needs a place mm-hmm. where any person that is uh, talented and creative, sometimes you don't have the money to have your own space. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the rents are very expensive. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's just you don't have a place or a contact or a friend that gives you this push to Correct. do this amazing art or this amazing activity that you know how to do. And 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 with this place, with the with the Malosa Gallery, we're gonna ha- everybody can have it. They just need to call or to send an email. And we make a trial. We see what they have. Mm-hmm. We love your yoga class. Why don't you come once a week or twice a week, and, and uh, we 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 can you know put you in the agenda so people right. knows that you're gonna give this class or meditate of the of you know this sound sound healing. I have this amazing girl. She contacted me. She's gonna start doing the, the sound healing. So it's gonna be yoga, meditation, and sound healing the wow. same day, awesome. twice a week, and and. There's a band I promote. It's called Red Door Band. Okay. They play every day for the last six months since COVID started. They started in March. I think, yeah, March. And they have been playing on, on, on their porch in Old Town. That is awesome. So all the, you know, the Chicago Reader, Chicago Tribute, all the, a lot of, you know, TV channels, they, they went and, you know, to interview them. They're like, yeah. wow, this is amazing. You're giving live music to everybody. And for free, happiness. Yeah, for bringing, free, and yeah, everybody was, such... you know, donating to them. Yeah. And now that it's winter time, they don't have a place. And I'm like, what do you mean? Wait a minute. <laughs> what do you mean you don't have a place? We can fix this. I'm your promoter. You're yeah. gonna come twice a week, and you're gonna play at, at uh, the Malosa Gallery, and you're gonna keep doing what what you have been doing. That's awesome. So we're gonna have jazz with Red Door Band twice a week. We don't know exactly the dates after the elections. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> because, you know, with the elections, everything, COVID, and then the and election, co- yeah, like, yeah, and everything. Halloween, I don't yeah. know what's more scary, <laughs> what's more scary than that, you know? Right, right. <laughs> the three. Exactly. So let's see what happens. But it's going to be just, you know, and and one thing that I want to uh, share and to tell all, all the people in Chicago and in the U.S., it's, once a month, we're going to do a designer's market. Okay. You know, in the summer times at the parks, we have this designer's market or art uh, art shows. Mm-hmm. And all their artists, they just go and they have their corner. They have a, a space where they show their art, their jewelry, mm-hmm. uh, clothing, hats, uh, uh, paintings. So I'm going to do the first weekend of every month. Mm-hmm. We're going to have a designer's market. So you you can cool. you can go and you you are gonna meet all the designers in Chicago and that's around. Cool. So so that's gonna be I think that's gonna be a very cool thing. So they they they're gonna have one one weekend in the month 
so they can sell uh, their designs to all the people in Chicago and that's great around the city. That is amazing. Well, Isabel, I'm telling you, I'm super excited for uh, for the event for for everything taking place. We're going to be there probably at Please. all of your events. Uh, no, recorded. no, 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 you yeah. bet. Oh, it's going to happen. <laughs> okay, you great. You bet. Great. Doc, you're my witness. Exactly, okay. exactly. Okay. And uh, Isabel, so again, the gallery, we already know it's going to, it's at, uh, uh, tell us the address one more time, if you could. 3461 North Lincoln Avenue. It's right in front of Paulina Market, the meat market. Yeah, that is yeah. super famous. That has been like 30 years. Forever, years, yeah, forever. yeah. It's right in front. Is the building on the same side of Paulina okay. Market, right in front. Um, makes corner with Cornelia. Okay. It's Lakeview, right next to Roscoe Village. Excellent. And if anyone wants to follow you, what can you give them your uh, your Yeah, sure. Uh, it's it's uh, Instagram. It's Malosa Tulum, at Malosa Tulum. And, and that's uh, M A L O S A T U L U M. Tulum. Perfect. Tulum, like the beach. So, Malosa. Mama, by the way, Malosa, you know uh -huh. what's the meaning? No. I, how did we not even uh, ask? <laughs> Malosa means naughty. Oh, naughty. Yes. Oh, okay. So, yes. <laughs> yes. And, the triangle, and the triangle. Because um, I switched the logo after 10 years. I, th I thought it was a good moment to switch it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, When I started doing the hats, I said, okay, the logo was more chic Parisian, Parisian style, you know, more, more, you know, the, the heels. Of course. And the glamour. Because I didn't tell you, but I was a fashion editor before. So I'm okay. a journalist. I just, I started design and, and, and journalism. And so I was a fashion editor for seven years and I just... You know, I was doing journalism and then I launched the brand, the shoe brand, Malosa. And when I decided to just, you know, after 10 years to do more this this conscious fashion with, with the Mayan communities, mm -hmm. I said, I have to change the logo. I had to, I have to change. I'm going to keep the name because people call me La Malosa. <laughs> so I, I cannot change that. I'm going to keep course. the name. Yeah, yeah. But I'm going to make a more minimal logo, like mm -hmm. the one you can see there. Like it's more like, you know, and the triangle means means equilibrium means mm. it, it reminds me of the pyramids the pyramids of of yucatan yes the magic the mysticism <laughs> and the magic of of the mayan culture and of mexico mm. and i'm a mexican i i love my culture i love my country and this prisma it's about magic it's about when you have a balance in life between your work mm -hmm. between uh, work friends And to give something mm -hmm. to people, when you give, it's not just about taking, 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 yeah. taking, work, 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 you know. It's more about a balance in life in general. Mm -hmm. This magic in life comes, comes to life mm -hmm. and you can really be helpful to others. So this prisma is about the, the balance that is the hardest thing to have in life. But it's about balance with you your, yourself mm -hmm. the people you love and the people you don't even know and the people you can help and it's the magic of 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 the the culture of mexico it's phenomenal that's phenomenal and that again resonates in, in what we see here today and, and try it on you. come on try yeah well let's one. try it on here I, i like the green one yes so we're gonna we're gonna Put this I'm one gonna on. try i'm gonna yeah try. let's uh right be, for, for for when we sign off me that one yeah We'll put these on and we'll sign off. Here you go. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah. Oh, I should have worn this, <laughs> this one. No? It's really nice. Yeah. This one right here? You look, your eyes pop you up. Your I eyes like look super green. Yeah, this, this is it. You well, look amazing. You see, look, this, is, this has been such a such a, a fun podcast. I'm telling you, I can't thank you enough, Isabel, for no, being on the you. show. Uh, this is not going to be my last time. Oh, no, tell of course me, not. Of course I'm not. you. We're going <laughs> to, you know, and keep keep in mind, we're actually going to be recording at your event. Please, so, the 12th. On the 12th. So, uh, you know, stay tuned because that's going to be really exciting. And you mentioned there's going to be a bunch of different other people, uh, ar yeah, artists. We're, yeah, we're going to have a lot of artists, bloggers, okay. influencers. Um, 
beautiful people from different countries. I have this amazing group of friends is going to be there from like 10 different countries. Uh. So they are like super fashionistas, beautiful girls from, from many countries. Mm. A lot of people from Tulum is, is coming awesome. as some art collectors from okay. Guadalajara, from Mexico City, from San Francisco are also coming. Uh, Burning, Man, Burning Man friends are coming. And so it's going to be pretty, I don't know how we're going to do with COVID, but <laughs> I think I'm just going to put some curtains. I was so going to say, just nobody, put, put the curtains yeah. up and you'll be, you know. Yes, I'm going to put some black curtains so yeah, nobody yeah, sees. Exactly. And, but, but the... By the way, if there's any inspectors listening to this, it's just, we're just joking. Yes. You know, we're, we're following <laughs> all of the proper yeah, protocols, I promise. Yeah, She's, of course. Yeah. I mean, with the mask and everything. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But, but, but whatever, we need yeah. to... We need to, we need to make it happen. Need because, to make it happen. I mean, Absolutely. not because of COVID. I'm not gonna open it. I'm not gonna have a opening. No, of right. course I am. Of course. So, so the tw November 12th at 7 p.m. and I think uh, two days before we're gonna have a small cocktail with the bloggers and influencers. Mm -hmm. So, if you are a blogger or an influencer here in Chicago or any other place, if you want to join us. Uh, and try the hats and use your hats for photographs, videos, travels, whatever. Just send us a message on Instagram at malosa at malosa tulum, and we will send you uh, one or two hats so you can, you know, check it out and use it in your photos and publicity. And we would love to have, you know, collaboration between between influencers. I love it. I love it. Isabel, thank you so much again for being no, on the show. thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank and, you. Um, Let me try another. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Let's see. Let's, let's, switch. Switch. let's switch. switch. Okay. Oh, my Which God. One? Oh, my God. Try that one. <laughs> no, try this one. Listen to me. Try this one. This is going to look amazing. All right. Let's see this I'm one I'm going to try quick. this white one. So, if you're listening through the podcast station, you're going to want to log into the youtube channel to actually see these beautiful hats and also so, and also oh my god that looks nice yeah this is i'm telling you this is this is this is great put it okay let me tell you one tip yeah. there's one tip if you this is the hipster like style okay. that i don't like personally because okay. i'm not i mean when they do like this you know the hat like yeah what's the right way to wear the, the hat i don't like the way they uh, the hipsters wear like this okay. sorry i'm not i don't have anything against the hipsters <laughs> but these i don't like it okay so i like i always say the, the closer the hat to your eyebrows, the sexier look you have. So is look at this and look at this. Oh, yeah. Big difference. It's, it makes a difference. Big difference, yeah. So, and there's one, an, another good thing that just, we just launched the website and we are, we are sending all the hats worldwide. So it's malosa, uh, malosatulum.com okay. and you can just pick your hat. We have amazing customer service. We have free returns. We have all the amenities and all to make our customers happy. Mm -hmm. So you just go online and pick your hat. And if it doesn't fit or whatever, we switch it to, an, to another one. So, Perfect. so people, you know, it's a new brand here um, in the U.S., but, but it's good quality. It's not... A, you can feel it. You, can, you a, can feel it. A, you can see yeah, it. It's 100% wool. Um, it's... The fabric is amazing, you know, so, mm -hmm. so just check it out. So t tell, w walk us through again. So you were an editor uh, and then you transitioned into, you know, uh, design. walk us through again. Okay, some of that. So I, I love, I, I always loved what I, what I do, you know, I don't yeah. know how to work in something that I don't love. So I started working as a public relationship for a magazine. And there was the, the director of uh, PR. Mm -hmm. And then one day I wrote, I was a style in journalism. And I was, when I was 21, they offered me a job as a fashion editor. Mm -hmm. um, and I said, yes. And because they like the way I dress. And I'm like, we need fashion in this magazine. Would you, would you mind? I'm like, yeah. of course not. So I was doing fashion mm -hmm. for, for a magazine in Mexico. Uh, and then the, they call me because I speak um, uh, English and Portuguese and French and Italian. Oh, wow. okay. They were hire me so I could go to the fashion shows and cover different magazines at the, at the same time. Instead of sending 20 uh, 
fashion editors they will send me and I will cover for them in different languages so I from from public relations and jump into writing mm -hmm. and then from writing into into fashion editor uh, as a fashion editor I, I was a fashion editor for like seven years I was doing you know many magazines wow. in Mexico and writing for glamour for in style for Esquire for for Vogue for like name it the last magazine I did was spot magazine more conceptual uh, mm -hmm. conceptual art mm -hmm. uh, art fashion art it was fashion but in a more um, abstract way no okay. like a beautiful naked woman with a okay. with a fox tail and a beautiful hat you know that's in the amazing. middle of the desert so it was like wow that's awesome so so I have been all my life with with fashion and design I love writing I love interviewing I love talking about fun things and the, the amazing thing of journalism is that you meet super cool people right from different like what you do it's it's just so nice to meet people that love what they do exactly. and are doing something fun and beautiful and good so so yeah now i'm uh i'm I, i'm go i want to keep designing mm -hmm. but i also want to bring designers that i love because if you design you, you it's so You t it takes so much time to design yeah. to 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 get to this perfect quality mm -hmm. in designing. So, if I invite people that has already this quality, for example, jewelry, there this jewelry I did it myself, but I also know know designers that they can make amazing pieces. So I'm not going to do it. I'm not. I'm going to design a little bit, but I'm going to invite them mm -hmm. to bring their ideas and their style to my to my concept. So I it's going to be more sharing. And 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 also bring have have different um, styles with the same bohemian right. uh, trend that I'm that I that I'm gonna have in my shop. But this, for example, this designer from he's Greek. I just met him the other day. I was mm -hmm. looking to, to I was fixing a fur that I designed, and I met him by chance. And he makes the most amazing furs. And he's going to be in my shop. I'm like, we, 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 we met. And then I'm like, Christos, you have to, I want to, I'm going to give you a corner. Why don't yeah. you, I pick what I love from your shop and you have a corner in my, in my, in my, in my boutique. And he's like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> so instead of, wait, you know, not wasting time, but spending so much time designing a fur that you're going to be, it's going to take forever right. to make it right. He already has the most beautiful furs I have, I have seen in, in Chicago. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be in the shop. Wow. So that's, that's about it. So I would love to meet all the designers from Chicago so they can have a place where they can, if, if what they sell it goes with my, my style, I will be more than happy to welcome them and to, to invite them to, to sell their product in my, in my shop. Amazing. Amazing. Well, that's how it goes. I mean, that's, that's the beauty of what you're doing. And again, just goes back into the, 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 the community, the lifestyle that, that you're bringing all under one roof and that is your boutique that's your that's your shop you know and we're excited to 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 be there to witness it and uh, and to see all the art the hats and everything that, that you're going to be providing so and what we said the other day <laughs> we need to bring fashion to chicago exactly Jonathan. we need fashion so badly yeah I mean, well, it's the Midwest. That's the problem. Yeah, but <laughs> but you have beautiful people, well, and people is thirsty. Well, that's a good fashion. Mean, yeah, we need to bring fashion here. I mean, all the little boutiques are gone. So let's bring fashion. That's gonna be my mission, Absolutely. and we're gonna also have this service to people the you know the personal shoppers and we're going to tell you how what to wear what not to wear That's i have great. two girls helping helping me because mm -hmm. i can do it everything by myself i have two girls and they're going to help me out with mm -hmm. this and we're going to do personal shoppers you know style uh, you know a personal stylist so you change your hair change your outfit do the do that so a complete you know, makeover yes that's amazing yes yeah, so so it's it's about it's a, it, like you said we have home collection we have jewelry we have hats we have um clothing we have coats we have shoes we have everything so it's 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 a lifestyle malosa is at the end a lifestyle oh. And we're more than happy to be here in Chicago because Chicago needs fashion There it so is. badly and we're going to bring it. 
All right. Well, you heard it here. Isabel, thank you so much again. Thank you. And uh, and then we'll see you at Melosa.